All right, guys. Today we are going to be reviewing multiplying and dividing radicals. Um, so from here on out, it's just review until your test, and your test is on Thursday. So we're just going to be practicing a whole bunch of different ones, and I'm going to be going over them with you. Okay, so for example, um, number one, we are multiplying our radicals. So you first have to multiply the leading coefficient. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And then we met multiply underneath our radical. So 15 times 3. 15 times 3 is 45. And then we want to be able to reduce if we can. So we're going to check. Uh, 45 divided by 5 is 9. And 9 has 3 and 3 as a pair. Since I have a 2 on my shelf, since I can't see a number, there's always a 2, I'm looking for pairs. Well, I have two 3s in my number of 45 and a 5. So one of the 3s goes out and is with our 2, our negative 2. And then the other one goes away, and I'm left over with my 5. So I multiply negative 2 times 3, square root of 5. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, root 5. So these, we multiplied these two together, and then we reduced our radical. Um, let's see. Oh, the same thing happens on number 5, um, but you have a distribution problem. So you're going to distribute this radical to both things on the inside of your parentheses. So I'm going to multiply my leading coefficients. So I have 2 times negative 1. And then under my radicals, we multiply those numbers. So 3 times 10 is 30. And we multiply our leading coefficients. 2 times 4 is 8. And then we multiply our radical as well. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 root 30. And we have 8 root 3. We're going to check and make sure we can't reduce 30. So 30 is 2 and 15 and 3 and 5. I don't have any pair of numbers, so it stays. And I can't combine these because they're not like terms. One is the square root of 30 and the other is the square root of 3, so this is my final answer. Um, let's look at number 10. Number 10 here. Uh, we are going to do fancy distribution. This is also known as FOIL, um, but we're just going to multiply the terms one at a time. So we're going to multiply this term by the two others and then we're going to multiply this term by the two others and then combine our answers and see what we've got. So we're going to multiply negative 3 times negative 3 which is 9 and then I have 3 times 3 underneath my radical and I have negative 3 times 1 which is negative 3 and then 3 times 5 is 15 under my radical and then for my second term, I'm going to multiply um, 1 by negative 3. And then root 2 by root 3 is root 6. Multiply those two numbers together. And then we have 1 times 1, which is 1. And then 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, so on the first ones, remember when I multiply a square root by the same number under the root sign? It's um, really the same thing as, well, in this case, negative 9. And the square root of negative 9 is 3. Um, so essentially what happens is one of the roots cancel, and it's just one of the numbers that comes out. So it'll be 9 times 3 minus 3 root 15 minus 3 root 6 and root 10. Um, these can't be reduced, your radicals, so we're just going to multiply 9 times 3 and get 27 minus 3 root 15, minus 3 root 6, plus root 10, and there we go. That's our final answer. We can't simplify any further, and we've multiplied through. Um, let's see. Let's look at the next page. Oh, yeah, division. Okay, so on number 14, um, this 25 is a perfect square. So I could rewrite that if I wanted to, or I could just do the square root of 25 is 5. But I know that 25 is made up of 5 times 5. And when you have a square number, you're looking for a pair of numbers. One number comes out and the other goes away. 
So on the top, I also know that 8 reduces. We have 2 and 4 and 2 and 2. So 4 is a perfect square. Um, and these are the pairs, 2 and 2. So one number comes out and the other goes away. And I'm stuck with one number underneath my radical. So 8 really is 2 root 2. And then underneath, I have my 4 on my outside. And then the square root of 25 is 5. So now we reduce. Okay, so we have 2 root 2 over 4 times 5 is 20. I can reduce uh, 20 and 2, though, because 20 is actually made up of 2 times 10, and then 2 is made up of 2. So I could cancel out my greatest common factors, and my final answer is, sorry, root 2 over 10. Um, okay, let's try another one. If we look at number, oh man, they're all nice, except for number 15, which I assigned. <laughs> so my hint to you on number 15 is if you don't want to reduce and then reduce again, is just to multiply the top and the bottom by your, uh, not your reciprocal. We have to um, rationalize the denominator. So you just multiply the top and the bottom by your radical and then that will help you. Then you don't have to simplify and then multiply and then simplify. So I would suggest trying that. Um, these problems on the bottom are actually pretty nice. Let's look at number 19. On number 19, again, we want to multiply by the radical, but I realized that the square root of 16 is four. It's nice. So I'm gonna keep my numbers on the top, negative three minus the square root of three. And then on the bottom, I have five times four which is 20. So I have negative three minus, oops, forgot my root, over 20. I don't have a like term in all three of these, so I can't take anything out, which means that this is my answer. All right, guys, I hope you had a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later, bye.